Hi, my name is Jess with Greenpeace Canada. And my name is Sarah, also with Greenpeace Canada. We're coming to you live right now from Ottawa, Canada, on the steps of the Supreme Court building, where today two truly historic cases will be heard. The Chippewas of the Times First Nation is here fighting against a tar sands pipeline that goes through their territory. And Clyde River Inuit are here all the way from Nunavut in Canada's Arctic, fighting against the dangers of seismic blasting. We've just come from a beautiful sunrise ceremony this morning that the Chippewas of the Thames led us through, and we walked through the streets of Ottawa with a two-row wampum bell, which signifies, which signifies the government's commitment to Indigenous peoples in this country. We're going to go over here now to watch some of the beautiful speakers, and then we're going to check in with some folks here at this rally on this historic day. I'd like the audience to take a look here at who's standing right here with the Chief White Eye. It's the children. Look at these young people. And look at the sign that they're carrying. Water is life, protect the sacred. Let's give a round of applause to these young people, our future leaders. You know, our, our elders, our, our teachings tell us that we borrow the earth from our children. And indeed, we have that responsibility to ensure that Mother Earth will always be here and that water will always be here because we have that responsibility to the children. So thank you, young people. Thank you for coming out here and raising your voices and supporting because we do support you as well. I have a few announcements to make before I call up the next speaker. And the number one, because we know that there's limited uh, seating inside the Supreme Court of Canada, we ask the public to prioritize the seating for the community members. Please allow the people from the Chippewa of the Thames to have that priority seating in the courtroom, please. Thank you. But there's also um, at 251 Bank Street, there is a, a room that is set aside to watch the proceedings and the, it's a live streaming in the morning and afternoon. So 251 Bank Street. just want to remind you that you can ask questions in the comments and we'll do the our very best to get you an is answer. That, uh, there There's will so be a lunch rally from 12 noon to 2 o'clock. There will be why they're here, what they're fighting for, speakers. what's at stake. And, and then sure you click the link in the description the and sign the petition in solidarity with these communities. So please, Remain for the rallies to continue to provide your support. Today's weather, it's, it's raining. It just goes to show that water is sacred. Regardless if it's in the ground or on the ground or falling from the air, it's water and sacred. And we know that rain is a blessing, right? There goes my sheep. Right on, brother! We want to introduce you to Jerry Natnine. He is the former mayor okay, of Clyde River. Okay, I'd like to call up uh, Jerry Natnine, the former mayor of Clyde River, to say River. some words. Jerry? Jerry? Uh, and he's about to speak. Thank you, thank you very much. Good morning. We are having no words. You can watch it. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you for having us. I'm very honored coming from Clyde River. All over far away, we face the same problem. You know, government coming in, coming off our gods to settle us in the communities. They didn't ask us for nothing. Up to now, they've been trampling on us. Company comes up, they didn't ask for anything. They told us, this is what we're going to do, this is what's going to happen. I said, we don't care. What we do, we care about our water, because that's, that's where our life is. Our food is in the water. Uh, we were growing up, no one owned the water. No one owned the land. And now it's like, Government and companies, corporations coming in, they have to own the water. You know, they think it's theirs, but it's not. No, it's, it's ours. It's our children, and that's what we want to protect. I want my grandchildren to be able to hunt and fish healthy animals for years to come. And that's what we're fighting for. You know, all humanity. We have to be right with nature. We have to be right with the animals. Treat everything right, and that's what we're fighting for. That's what you're all here. You know, you're all protected. We're all protected. And, uh, 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Trying to, to halt that process and halt that uh, halt that that pipeline from being reversed. 
And so uh, this one is called Boy Apocalypse. Because if we don't stop these pipelines, if we don't reassert uh, indigenous sovereignty to, to these territories and that duty, that duty to consult and that duty to, uh, to, to, to have a say, you know what I'm saying? We, we will live in that oil apocalypse. If we don't support Standing Rock and we let them build that pipeline, it's going to be an oil apocalypse. And so this one is called Oil Apocalypse Now. I hope that we don't see that oil apocalypse. And I know that everyone here is doing everything they can in their heart, everything they can with their spirit, everything they can with their body to make sure that we don't live in that oil apocalypse in the future and that we have a, 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 a healthy planet that pass on to future generations. So this one's called Oil Apocalypse. Oil apocalypse now, drip, drip, drop. Driving off the peak, we at the tip, tip, top. Pedal to the middle, but the signs say stop. We're over the edge, that culture is dead. Pipeline spill, drip, drip, drop. Consume the future, big, big box. We all gonna die if this ish don't stop. And our time's running out, tick, tick, tock. We don't need oil, just break the spell. Alternatives exist, but they're locked in cells. The patents on the X on the shell, protected by the cops for the toxins kill. Stop and bridge, and Keystone XL. Never get poisoned with no oil, starts to spill. None of them are safe, they always fail. Ecosystems die and they drop and spill. Drill, drill, they be drill. Grease their machines, keep us all hooked to an American dream. Now turn into a nightmare, quest for cream. Machines go before fix like a violent fiend. So we rip off his veins, right out of the ground. Dismantle their pipelines and block the route. Find the tip of the pyramid, top of the dam. If the toss hands expands, it's apocalypse now. Oil apocalypse now. Drip, drip, drop. Driving off the peak, we at the tip. Tip top, pedal to the metal, but the signs say stop. We're over the edge, that culture is dead. Pipeline spill, drip, drip, drop. Consume the future, big, big box. We all gonna die if this ish don't stop. And our time's running out. Tick, tick, tock, toxic fumes, sucking on a tailpipe. Look at how we live, and everybody goes the same right. Watching them taught me, everybody hate life, depressed. We've lost our connection, can't hide from our reflection. The monster in the mirror, consumer, colonizer, or killer. Action is the antidote we're trying to deliver. Disconnect from the system of death. Get better, oil apocalypse now. Drip, drip, drop. Driving off the peak, we at the tip, tip, top. Pedal to the middle, but the signs say stop. We're over the edge, that culture is dead. Pipeline spill, drip, drip, drop. Consume the future, big, big box. We all gonna die if this ish don't stop. And our time's running out. Tick, tick, tock. Scarred lands from tar sands, they spit in the oil. Poison water, poison air, climate out of control. How could never ending broke you to go? We in a battle for the earth and humanity's soul. <laughs> We're coming to you live from the Supreme Court of Canada here in Ottawa, Canada. Thank you so much for the support. We're seeing it coming in from all over the world. And we have a question, Jerry, a question live awesome. on our stream. The question yes, is, what are you, you fighting for? for? What are you here for today? What's going on? We're fighting for our lives. We must hold them we're fighting in our for prayers. our children, our future, the same way our that culture. We, we want to keep it going. How we're living with river, nature, how we the eat, eat the food, Let's, how we hunt the food, all our, our existence, that's what our that's stake, and we're fighting for that. And, and what are the companies trying to do in your, in your homeland, Jerry? What are the seismic blasting companies trying to do? They want to uh, they wanna blow air cannons oh, into the water that will penetrate the sea friends. bottom hundreds of meters deep and look for oil. 
Yeah, we don't want. Why is it so dangerous to the marine life? It's so dangerous to the marine life because it's so loud and noisy. Cedar Parker. Why don't we come back to that after? We've got Cedar Parker, come stand This is Cedar Parker. Coming up, he's coming all the way from, from British nice Columbia, from the Slaywood Tooth right? Nation. He's just come back from Standing Rock and he's going to share a few words. Before I turn the mic over to Cedar Parker, I have uh, another announcement to make. And, and I know that the people that will go into the Supreme Court, we know that you will be very respectful inside the Supreme Court. There will be no... Uh, cheering or chanting, you'll be very nice and quiet, so we really appreciate that very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, friends, I am now turning it over to Cedar Parker. <coughs> uh, hello. hello. Alright, can everybody hear me pretty good? Yeah! Alright, alright. Uh, what a surprise, I didn't know I was going to sneak right now, but here I go, might as well just talk, right? <laughs> Yeah, a lot of crazy things have been happening the last uh, two days, especially with the pipeline going through. A lot of people are afraid to, um, for uh, where I come from, back in Vancouver, but, uh, you know, I got hope we're going to stop it. We stopped Imprint, so I think we can stop this pretty easy. I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, we, it's, 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 it's easy for us to do that because, you know, here in Canada, we, we have these rights that we can uh, stand up against government, that we can have a say against government. And uh, what a time to be alive right here, protesting something beautiful, protesting to have a bright future. And I think that's just absolutely awesome seeing all these people here. Round of applause for you guys. And it feels, uh, I, I feel blessed to be here, you know. I, I feel really, really, really blessed. I, uh, I come from... Uh, Seattle, Washington, and, uh, and Vancouver, Canada, and uh, I grew up in uh, both of those places. And one thing's for certain: it's 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 not a Canadian problem. It's it's an everybody problem. I I've, I've traveled, uh, you know, to some places around the world, South America, and it's, it definitely is 100% an everybody problem. These oil companies are coming in and taking things from the land, are taking away our future, and I, you know, I'm. I'm not that afraid right now, seeing everybody's eyes right now, seeing this many people, seeing this many different colors coming together for a common goal, coming for a common future, a bright future. A future where we don't have to be afraid to leave our loved ones when age comes and gets us. And I think I'm proud saying, you know, seeing all these races here, seeing all these people come together. You know, Government of Canada, I want to say thank you for bringing all these beautiful people together. I think that's awesome. Thank you for giving us hope, you know. Thank you for showing me these people in my life, you know. It definitely is an everybody problem, you know. It's happening everywhere around the world. We need to come together. We need to do this, you know. Together we can do these things, you know. If there's only a couple people here, it wouldn't be a big deal. But everybody's here and everybody will see our fire, you know. Everybody will see the fire in our hearts. And I think that's, that's an awesome thing. Yeah. <laughs> And a uh, shout out to Standing Rock, shout out to my family down there. Shout out to the people in Seattle saying no to Shell, to the Shell companies. Shout out to everybody doing something good, you know. I, I really condone you, keep, you know, keep on doing what you're doing for a better future. You know, we, we have to come together, especially in these hard times. We have to uplift each other, you know. Don't put ourselves down when these things happen. Don't say, oh man, it's happening. What am I going to do, you know. Don't put yourself down. Because once that's in your head, that's in your head. No, bring each other up. Say we can do this. We can stop this. Say that we can overcome these hard difficulties together. Bring each other up. We don't need that negativity. And we'll keep on fighting. Government of Canada. You can just see behind here, us here. You know, people are here, starting to go here. into the Supreme Court now. All these we're gonna people wrap up want to run, when does it stop? But we're gonna when be back at taken? noon. And please lives remember to follow along on Twitter you know? at Greenpeace CA. Uh, and we're gonna, gonna be back with another live stream on Greenpeace Canada's Facebook page at 12 o'clock Eastern Canadian Standard Time. I stand here, you know, before you ask me, when does it stop? When does my future look bright? Well, I can answer that. Looking at everybody's eyes and looking at everybody's faces, my future already looks brighter. That's for certain. And uh, from now, I'm uh, Cedar George Parker, coming out of Seattle, Washington, Vancouver, Canada. And I'd like to thank everybody for coming here. And raise yourselves up. Let's get more positivities. Don't put yourselves down. We can do this. I can see it in the eyes. I can smell it in the air. <laughs> thank you.
thank you everybody for joining and being part of this. We have a hundred, like hundreds of people here standing in solidarity with Clyde River and the Chippewas of the Thames. We're going to sign off for now. We'll be back during the lunch break. Please remember to follow us on uh, Greenpeace Canada's channels. Click the link in the profile and sign our petition for Clyde River. Thank you. We'll see you.